What's up my friends? This is Nesto and today is Monday, 4th of July. I want to wish you all a very happy 4th of July and if you're playing with fireworks, please be safe. I would hate uh, for anyone to get hurt. Please be careful, be responsible when you're playing with them fireworks. Uh, this is Nesto and today I want to show you this little car. I wanted to make it like a gazer but you know this is just a mock-up you know playing around with it and if I decide that I like it then I'll proceed to stripping it and giving it the real riders and all that stuff so this looks more like a low rider instead of a gasser right and you know mucking it up so you can see what's up what's going on there Uh, anyway, just put it back here. Um, then I remember on my previous video, if you don't remember, please check it out. I had my chromed out gasser. I showed it next to Ivan's gasser. You know, the blasphemy gasser that I made for him. So I had my red one. And I went to the hobby store. And I saw this really cool paint. But before I show you that gas, let me show you this one. I went to the store and I found this really cool metallic paint and I bought it. And uh, there's an airplane flying by. You can hear that loud noise. So yes, this little truck looks like that. Really, really cool. Probably detail the engine. <clears throat> So I went to the store and I bought that paint and I was like, yes, I'm going to use it with my gasser. So I grabbed the gasser, I scuffed it up a little bit with steel wool to kind of give it a little bit of shine and to remove the mother's polishing cream so that it does not mess with the paint. So I did that and then I sprayed the paint right on top of the bare metal. Bare metal. And uh, this is what my little gasser looks like. Check it out guys. My personal gasser. Went ahead with those wheels. As you can see, it's got dual exhaust on each side it detailed the grill the lights I really like how the tail lights turned out but yeah hopefully you can see the color let's see Yeah, kind of. But anyway, what you can see is this beautiful engine. That's right. I added heathers to it. And they are connected to the exhaust tips or to the exhaust pipes. So I'm pretty thrilled of how, how this little engine turned out and I am digging it. I think I'm gonna keep making those engines. So I did it, you know, and then I, I'm trying to go fast so that I can get to show you this. I did that one and uh, on, the, on the directions for the paint it said that you were supposed to spray it on a silver surface or something like that so I just went ahead and sprayed it directly on the stripped car and uh, then I had another beamer that I was working with it was already stripped so I went ahead and sprayed my silver paint on it I sprayed the silver paint and then I went ahead and painted it red too the same red but you will see how different it looks just by adding the undercoat
I borrowed borrowed the base from the other custom that I had. But you can see now, this is a, more like a burgundy. This is more of a bright red. The same paint, but that one did not have an undercoat of anything. This one had a silver undercoat. You can't really see it. It sucks. I mean, it's not very sunny either. But I have some pictures that I'll post along with the video, hopefully. So yes, I borrowed the vase from the other car, you know, that one that had the wheels and the exhaust. To see what's up. And I think I like it. Looks, looks alright. You know, it's still a work in progress. There's a, a lot more detail to come. And uh, what I am very excited to show you will come at the end. This is another gasser that I also had on the works. This one, I am going to drop. Drop, drop, drop. And I am adding that hood to it. I had painted it red, you know, because I had originally, I had it on here. Kind of looked cool. But now this, I decided that I was going to do another one with, uh, with this hood. And I'm going to lower it. I'm going to drop it, slam it all the way. So, oh, I forgot to grab the box. And I'll probably put a picture of it. Yeah, I'll put a picture of it. Anyway, so these are my customs that I have on the works. With this one being finished. So I went ahead and bought some, uh, let me put these things out here let me pause this real quick so yes you can see these things right here I don't know if you get an idea of uh, what's going on here Japanese or Japan historics you know the five spoke small and large and then we have this combination of a wheel and tire that I made. I don't think I've seen this before. I hope I'm the first one to do this. And I know for sure that I am the first one to do what I'm going to show you next. Well, not the first one, but, you know. The first one to do this one for sure. Anyway, so these things right here I went ahead and bought at the hobby store. My... A little casting mold and casting kit it was $30 I used my 40% coupon you know and I get it for sale on sale with it <clears throat> so I went ahead and uh, before I did play with it I watched a couple of videos or actually one video I forgot the name of where I watched it from so I could give it a shout out Anyway, it was a very helpful video. He was casting an engine and I applied what he's showing to make these things right here. And let me show you. Yeah, buddy. This is one of my favorite wheels. They came out amazingly. I was like, what? You can see. Very, very thrilled. I also, you know, uh, when I was removing the wheel, or actually the, the tire from the mold, I effed it up. And this was preserved, but there is no inside part of it. 
you know, I still made a few castings of it just for fun. You know what I figured out is that maybe like 10 minutes after the resin hardened, I went ahead and pulled them out of the mold. Even though they were still a little bit soft, but I went ahead and pulled them out. And then I grabbed my cut up axles and I was able to pierce them right through the middle. Therefore making a hole for the axle with the axle. Here's an example of it. You know, these are not perfect. There's a little bit of a, or a few air bubbles, but you know, with practice, they will become better. I know that for sure. Because by the second time I pulled them out of the, or by the second attempt, they were already getting better. I will show you guys a few pictures of that. You know, those are those wheels that I've made. And here are the molds that I made. The cat, the, it was a mini kit set. And I was able to make those four molds. And uh, went ahead and quickly detailed one of the wheels that I made looks all right it does not look perfect you know I did it really fast because I was really eager to d to see what they would look like and, you know when you compare it with the original it's not chromed but he's getting there and uh, I also went ahead and detailed this one which I think looks badass That's just like this one's right here. So yes, what do you guys think? I also went ahead and uh, quickly mounted those on there to see what they would look like. You know, it's not perfect. I'm still trying to figure out a way to make them spin perfectly. It's a white lightning. Huh. Anyway, this is Nesto and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, please forgive me if I have not been able to reply to your messages or to your comments. I really appreciate them all. I enjoy reading every single one of you. It, uh, it makes me happy to read your input on what I make. I apologize for not replying, but here I am letting you know that I do read them, that I acknowledge them, and I appreciate them. Thank you very much for taking time and writing those down. Uh, please continue to do so. Give me a like. Give me a sub if you have not. I really appreciate it. You guys, be safe in this 4th of July 2016. This is Nesto. And this is what's cooking. I should have detailed one of these since I like him so much. out my friends just put everything back in that little box to get back inside um, I forgot to show you I put everything away so fast and I forgot to show you earlier that I woke up this morning to a really loud noise I was like what the hell so I came out here and that's what I found. That's what I found. This is a mess. This freaking thing is huge. It's gonna be almost done. Hold on. This is gonna be a really, really, really 
big mess to clean up. Really, really big. What's worse about it though is that I had just, just gotten done planting my little garden. As you can see, there's a tomatillo plant. There was a lot of them. There was a lot of tomato plants. You see little tomatoes right there, tomatillos. Man, I was really happy about this. I put in so many hours, hard work, sweat. And this tree fell on top of it, crushing my hard work. Oh well. I thought it was pretty big and pretty awesome to see on the freaking floor. Just wanted to record it and show you guys. It's freaking crazy. This is Nesto. Peace out.